Hello, welcome to our video, How to Overcome Loneliness. Loneliness is not an abstract condition that affects only certain kinds of people. The truth is that feelings of loneliness can affect anyone, young, old, and in between, and at any point in life. If you feel lonely, reaching out to loved ones and practicing self-compassion can help you overcome loneliness. It's important to recognize and take loneliness seriously even though it's commonly thought of as a simple emotion. The reality is, it can have a huge impact on one's mental health and can even increase your risk of dying earlier. Your loneliness doesn't have to last forever. Though it might be a process, there are ways to stop feeling lonely. Here are some ideas for how to overcome this feeling. 1. Invite a friend on a walk. There are few things like walking and talking. Consider inviting a friend or neighbor to walk with you every few days. Exercising can increase your endorphins and improve your mood and outlook. And doing it in good company can help you foster a sense of well-being that could help you overcome feeling lonely. You can also make the walk extra special by following some of these ideas. Switch routes and scenery every day you go out to walk. Pick different times of the day so you can enjoy sunrises, sunsets, and mid-afternoons, if possible. Consider a drive to a park, forest preserve, or mall to walk in a new environment. Be mindful of what's going on around you, focusing on things like the sky, people, sounds, and physical sensations. Consider setting a different goal for each day. These can include the duration of the walk, pace and rhythm, and conversation topics. For example, you could have a day where you only exchange jokes, and another walk could be a vent day. 2. Consider joining a club, organization, or online community. Respondents to the BBC study also noted that they joined a social club or took up new social activities and pastimes to help with feelings of loneliness. Things to consider include Joining a walking or running club or another exercise-related group. Taking up a hobby, such as knitting, painting, or playing cards, and connecting with others who share the same interest. Finding online communities for gaming, movie buffs, book lovers, and other things you're interested in. Attending church. Volunteering at a local charity. Engaging in activities with like-minded people who might have similar interests could help you stop feeling lonely. 3. Know when to engage or disengage from the online world. The online world can be a double-edged sword, especially when it comes to loneliness and social isolation. Log on or log off, which is healthier? It all depends. The online world offers non-threatening and convenient ways to connect with others that can help if you're trying to overcome loneliness. Things like multiplayer gaming, chat and message sites, even online dating sites can offer ways to interact and engage with others that's satisfying for some people. There are also online apps designed to help you deal with issues like loneliness and social isolation. What about social media? Is it good for you when you're dealing with loneliness? For some people, the online world may contribute to even greater feelings of loneliness and isolation. Social media, for example, can portray people who seem to be living exciting, happy-go-lucky lives with hundreds of good friends at their side. Reality is that this is generally not reality. Social media can make some people feel inadequate, left out, and feeling lonely. Bottom line, if being online seems more isolating than connected, it may be a sign you need to log off. 4. Get a pet. Whether you're a cat, dog, according to a survey by the Human Animal Bond Research Institute, 80% of pet owners think their pets make them feel less lonely. Pets give you something to consider other than yourself, offer companionship, and dogs, for instance, can get you out. Before you get a pet, though, consider what is needed to take care of them. This includes food, bedding, veterinary visits, and time and effort. If getting a pet is not possible, consider volunteering at your local animal shelter. 5. Reach out to old friends. Connecting with friends with whom you lost touch can help alleviate feelings of loneliness. Helen Keller's words of wisdom, I would rather walk with a friend in the dark than alone in the light, emphasizes the significance of friendship in dissipating the sense of loneliness, which life often brings to our doorsteps. 
friendships motivate people to remain accountable and present for someone else, in addition to fostering creativity. Friendships are much like mirrors, which help individuals recognize and embrace their strengths, and concurrently, pinpoint and work on their weaknesses. Reconnecting with people who have been present when you felt productive, happy, or at peace might also help you remember and reconnect with those aspects within yourself. 6. Take it slow. If you felt lonely for a long time, it might feel overwhelming to start opening up to people. Trying to meet new people may also worry you. But you don't need to rush into anything. To start small, try and make conversations with people you come across in your day-to-day -day life. For example, this could be saying hello to a cashier in your local shop. Or making conversation with a neighbor. Some people find it useful to be in environments where there are lots of people around. For example, coffee shops, libraries, or shopping centers. Feeling the presence of other people may help with some feelings of loneliness. It may help to establish a routine where you go to the same places at the same time. You might start to recognize people in these places, which may lead to forming connections. Try thinking about how your interests could help you connect with other people. For example, if you like reading, you could join an online forum for conversations about books. You could also spend some time in a local library before joining a book club. Focus on environments where you feel safe and try not to put too much pressure on yourself. You could try an online activity where other people attend but you're not expected to interact with them. For example, a drawing class or another kind of creative workshop. You could ask whoever runs the sessions if you can just watch it first, rather than taking part. 7. Try not to compare yourself to others. Many of us have changed the way we communicate over the last few years. We're connecting with others online and through social media more. Being able to interact with more people online has been a positive experience for many of us. But others may find this challenging. We often only see what other people want to share about their lives on social media. Seeing photos of others at events or socializing with friends and family might make us feel like we're the only one who's feeling lonely. Being able to access so many people's lives can sometimes feel overwhelming. It's sometimes hard to stop comparing ourselves to others. But remember that things aren't always what they seem from the outside. We don't know how other people feel when they're alone. Or what's going on for them outside of their social media feed. 8. Seek out professional help. If you feel you've done several things to stop feeling lonely, but you still do, it might be a good idea to seek additional support. Some signs it's time to talk with someone else include bouts of tearfulness, episodes of irritability that interfere with work or family, undereating or overeating in response to loneliness, staying in bed all day, excessive sleepiness, or chronic fatigue, loss of interest and motivation to take care of yourself, such as avoiding brushing your teeth and showering, individuals with significant mood and anxiety concerns and feelings of loneliness, which affect their functionality, should consider scheduling an appointment with a psychiatrist or therapist. Cognitive behavioral therapy can help identify your anxiety pattern and reframe your thinking so you can engage in coping behaviors. In some cases, medications are warranted to treat mood and anxiety concerns. This is not always the case, sometimes, just having someone to talk with without apprehension might help you feel better. You can set your own goals for therapy, and it can only be about talking. Stay tuned for more health-related videos. Quick reminder. This video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like the video.